Hello boys and girls. Today I want to tackle a, a topic that is a little confusing for most people that are not involved in, in aviation or in jet engines and turbine engines. That, and that is the term turbines, turbines, turbines. A lot of people think that a turbine is the name of a turbine engine. And that is not correct. A turbine is a mechanical device that converts, that takes energy, it robs energy from a flow of fluid and converts it into mechanical rotation, mechanical motion. That is what a turbine is. It's a mechanical device that takes power from a flow of fluid, be it liquid or uh, gas, water or air, whatever that fluid is, a flow of fluid and it takes energy away from that flow and converts it into mechanical rotational energy. A turbine engine is an engine, like the case of an airplane, uh, is an engine that is driven by a turbine or series or stages of turbines. Could have one, could have seven, could have multiple, whatever number it ha that particular engine has. But that is a turbine engine. The turbine is not the engine, the turbine is a part of the engine. That is what drives the rest of the engine. The turbine in a turbine engine takes power from the flow of hot air, hot gases coming from the combustors, they get it heated up by burning fuel, they get heated up and expanded, and they accelerate and shoot out through the turbines and out the back of the engine producing thrust. Some of the energy of that fast moving exhaust gets taken up by the turbines to drive the compressor. Compressing the engine to burn, to heat it up, expand it, and rush out the back of the engine, repeating the process. The turbine in a turbine engine is what takes some of the power away from that exhaust, some of that the energy away from that airflow to drive the compressor and the accessories and gearboxes etc and now we're gonna go look at the front of the engine and look at another example of another turbine okay. now we're looking at the front of the engine we just came from back there looking at the turbines now we're in the inlet the intake the front of the engine and we're gonna look at this thing right here that turbocharger looking thing that is another turbine. In this particular case, this is the air starter to start the jet engine, the turbine engine. This engine is not started by an electrical motor, an electrical starter, like an engine, like a like a smaller engine or a, um, a car engine would, where you have an electrical motor that's your starter. This starter is an air driven turbine. You would have from either the APU the auxiliary power unit or an external ground source uh, of air you would blow air high volume of air through here and it wouldn't swirl around the snail cage over here in the housing and come out the center if we're driving this turbine here the air that goes in through here swirls and comes through out this way spinning this turbine and what this turbine does, that turbine is connected to through a shaft and reduction gear and gears and whatever, and it drives a shaft that spins the jet engine. So this turbine, this air starter, is a turbine because it's taking energy away from the airflow around and through it and converting it into rotation, rotational mechanical energy to spin the engine. So this is a second example. Of, of a turbine. Nothing to do with the turbine that drives the rest of the engine. This is only the only function of this turbine is to take energy from a flow of air, turn it into rotational energy to start the big engine. Now I mentioned in the beginning of this video that turbines can run on two different fluids, uh, either gas or liquid. This is an example of a turbine that runs on a liquid uh, fluid. 
the fluid in this case would be water. This is a water wheel. A water wheel is an example of a turbine. It is a wheel that is spun by water coming from the top, running down to a lower level, spinning the wheel. That is converting, that wheel is converting the potential or kinetic energy, in this case potential energy of the water coming from a higher altitude to a lower altitude. That difference in energy is taken up by the wheel, which is then in turn connected to a shaft, connected to another device, either to cut wood or process grain or whatever work you want it to do. That's the, a separate device that you would connect to the water wheel. But the water wheel in this example is another example of, of a turbine. This is a turbine that's taking energy away from the flow of a fluid and converting that into rotational energy or mechanical energy to do work. This is a water wheel is an old example uh, or the beginnings of what you would normally of what you would have in modern days now in a hydroelectric uh, plant like in the bottom of uh, or uh, Niagara Falls or in a dam you would have a hydroelectric plant and all you have is a set of turbines not exactly water wheels more it's a more, more modern design but you have a water turbine that spins with the flow of water and that turbine is in turn connected to through a shaft connected to a generator to generate electricity but you're using the same principle of converting potential energy or kinetic energy of a, in the flow of a fluid to spin a turbine and that turbine takes some of that energy from the flow of the fluid and connects it to something else because it converts it to mechanical uh, rotational energy or mechanical work. Now, a windmill is an example of another turbine that is that uses air or gas as a fluid. In this case, the fluid is, like I said, air. And this would do exactly the same work as the water wheel would. You would connect this turbine through a shaft to another device to either cut wood, process grain, or whatever other work you want it to do. But the principle is still the same. You have a moving fluid, in this case, is a gas, which is air, spinning a turbine. Those blades are a turbine. They are taking energy away from the flow of air moving through them and converting it to mechanical energy, rotational energy, which then gets connected to something else to do work. Now, at the risk of beating on a dead horse, I'm going to show you yet one more example of another turbine. In this case, is a turbocharger. This is an old turbocharger from a Volvo. And I'm going to show you where the turbine on this is. And I'm going to show you that it's exactly the same principle. This is a turbine that works uh, on a fluid and that's gas, meaning the exhaust of a, of a piston internal, internal combustion uh, engine. Turbo charger on a car or in an airplane, uh, they have two halves. One is a cold side, one is a hot side. Hot side is the turbine, cold side is the compressor. The compressor ha has an impeller inside of there, which is the one that compresses the air and blows it into the engine. What drives that compressor is the turbine. The turbine is the hot side, the hot section of a, of a turbocharger. And if you look inside, you have a blade buried in there that's very similar to the air starter of the jet engine that I showed earlier on, on this video. And their principles are exactly the same or very similar. You have a flow of air being blown into it, flowing in through the housing running around and through the propeller, not the propeller, my mistake, through the turbine, spinning it up, 
and that turbine takes the energy away from the flow of air through it and around it and converts it into rotational energy driving the compressor on the other side. They are connected through the turbocharger through the center section over here. The impeller and the turbine are connected through a shaft and the flow of exhaust coming from the engine flowing and spinning up that turbine that turbine takes the energy away from the exhaust and uses that to drive the compressor and the compressor then compresses the air and feeds it to the engine to help generate more power out of the same uh, displacement engine but just wanted to show you the same principle we have a turbine again using the flow of air or gases which is the exhaust of the car to spin up that turbine and through that shaft the turbine then takes that power that energy and converts it to rotational energy to spin the compressor which then compresses the air so we're taking energy from a flow of gases the flow of air to do work and that is the definition of what a turbine is taking energy away from a flow of a fluid to do work. Now let's uh, let's spin this up. Let's put uh, run some air through here and spin it up so you can hear it, see it, and see it in action. Now this is air, regular shop air on a blower. If I blow it through the housing, if I blow air into here, which would be the equivalent of the exhaust of the car coming in through here, you're going to see that turbine spinning up. Now let's look at the compressor side. Same thing, I'm going to be blowing air through the turbine on the exhaust side and you should see the compressor spinning up. If it was in the car, it would be compressing the air doing work. There you go. I think I've driven the point home enough to show what a turbine is, what the difference is between a turbine itself, which is a mechanical device. Again, for the last time, turbine is a mechanical device that takes power from the flow of a fluid, air or, uh, or water or liquid or gas. It takes that energy and converts it to rotational energy to do work. A turbine is not the engine on the side of an aircraft the engines on the sides of aircraft are turbine engines they're not just turbines turbines are components of turbine engines I hope that uh, that settles it uh, I hope that clarifies the difference to, to some of you I hope it makes it clearer and now you can have a better idea of what a turbine is and how many different kinds of turbines there are in the world. They're, they're, they're all over. They're useful devices. All right. As always, I hope you found, found it useful, interesting, and see you next time. Oh, and by the way, rotary air tools are also uh, powered by air turbines. Okay. I think that horse is dead now. <laughs>